Welcome to Ant World. Dear friends, now let me explain about these dinosaur ants. They are very unique as they do not have a queen ant. Instead, they have a gamma gate, which is a worker born with special parts. The gamma gate produces the brood. The brood is a term used for egg, larvae, and pupae all together. Here we can see an ant holding pupae in its jaws. Then, the gamma gate has some loyal workers. Checks pupae and developing ants in order to remove the special parts and prevent battles between gamma gates for the power of the colony. This is the terrarium which I have shown in the last video. If you want more information about terrariums, please watch our last video. We have a colony of the dinosaur ant species caught from our backyard. So I observed uh, some of these ants and found out that they lived at the bottom of a flower pot in our backyard. So I have decided to catch them and put them in a terrarium which was shown in one of our old videos. So this is the terrarium. So I am going to put it in. These ants can sting because um, they have stingers. All the ants are in. First few minutes they are running around and climbing, trying to escape. But in a few hours they will settle down. You can see the ants are really restless trying to um, maintain peace. They are trying to find a nesting area for them to survive. So I think the ants have found an ideal nesting spot. They have started to move uh, the brood in there. Dear friends, now you may be thinking what happens when a gamma gate dies. When a gamma gate dies, another ant with the special parts take up after mating with a male ant from another colony. So the dinosaur and curly never dies. Dear friends, thank you for all the support. Please share and subscribe for more.